Hello everyone, welcome to our new playlist here on error.tech. Yesterday I decided to create a new playlist for you guys here on YouTube. And that's the web development series. So in this playlist we basically are going to be stepping through the whole process of web development using JavaScript technologies. I think you already know that the React is the most popular framework of front-end web development so the majority of this playlist videos are going to be around the JS technologies like React, Node, Express, maybe uh, Next.js or stuff so this playlist is going to be a long road and I of course need your support so make sure to stay tuned and like the videos so let's take a look at some basic prerequisites you need to start off with this course all right so now I'm not going to teach you the fundamentals of JavaScript like ES6 or how to create a function, inline function or this stuff. You need to know this first, okay? You need to be familiar with coding in JS basically and then you're good to go with this playlist, alright? If you don't know where to start, you can simply go with YouTube channels courses on JS like Traversy Media or Free Code Camp channel. This channel has got absolutely great content on every single side of JS and its technologies. So I'm going to provide you some links to these crash courses you need before starting up with this whole playlist in the description. So make sure to check them out first. So let's move on to our video. The first thing you need is to uh, download VS Code. All right. By the way, I'm talking about Windows. I'm doing this on Windows, but if you are on another OS like Linux distributions or Mac OS, the installation will not be that different. So you'll be fine. All right. So I was saying that I think, in my opinion, the VS Code is the best code editor for web development purposes. I've been working on it for a long time, but it's optional. You can go with any code editor you want as you wish, but I recommend VS Code. All right, so to download and install VS Code, you need to go to this link, which I will provide for you in the description. And as soon as you download VS Code, you can just install it uh, and then it's ready. OK, after you install VS Code on your OS, then it's time to download and install Node.js as well. The link is in the description uh, and this is the their page all right their uh, web page and you can uh, go with current versions and LTS versions I personally do LTS versions but you can go with current it's not that different all right uh, LTS uh, versions are uh, short for long-term services okay these things are more stable all right and the uh, latest uh, one of them is uh, 14.17.4 okay so uh, in the process of uh, Node.js installation make sure uh, to uh, add it to your environment variables to your path and uh, make sure to uh, install npm beside Node.js okay uh, npm is a Node.js package manager okay you need that to install um, libraries and packages of uh, JavaScript. All right, we need that. Uh, okay, so as soon as you have in uh, Node.js install, uh, you have to check if it got installed uh, properly. So to do that, I'm gonna open up my terminal. You can do this in uh, VS Code or you can open up a CMD. Uh, so I'm gonna open up my CMD and say Node-V. And you can see my version is uh, 4, 14, 17, 0. Okay, so I've got it installed. Okay, so as soon as you see the version, it means that you have Node.js installed on your machine and you can basically start using it. And after that, I'm going to say npm slash v. And as soon as I type npm slash v, I can see my version. Okay, so my npm is good too. So now that we have Node, NPM, and VS Code installed, one more thing we need to do is to include these extensions in our VS Code, okay? These two, basically. These are just mine, and these aren't uh, 
uh, necessary for this playlist purposes, okay? But these two are, and ES7 and ESLint, you have to install these two. Uh, it's better actually, you don't have to install them, but it's better to install them and you'll see why as soon as we start using them in actions. Okay, now that we have everything ready, let's go ahead and create a React project. Okay, to do that, I'm gonna make a new folder and in there, I'm gonna just like this drag and drop it like this in the vs code and in there i have to create a react app like this all right so i'm going to use npx create react app and in there i'm going to specify a folder another folder into this new folder okay so i'm going to name it client all right so I press enter and we will wait till our apps ready to use. All right, so as soon as you see this happy hacking message, it means that um, you, your actually your React project is ready to use. You can start customize it, you can start um, add codes to it and anything you want, okay? I'm just gonna, in this session, I'm just gonna run it for now. So to run, our client app I'm going to say CD to my client change directory and in there I'm going to say npm start okay and we'll wait till our browser could run it up it's gonna start with localhost 3000 for me and okay perfect now our apps ready and we can start actually uh, change it. We can start our own app like this by editing this app.js and uh, index.js and stuff, okay? Uh, we don't need actually some stuff like uh, report with VTOL, setup tests, or some stuff in here, but uh, I'm gonna keep them here in order to uh, change them in the next session, okay? So in the next session, we will be building a little React application together to make ourselves more familiar with it. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope this video was useful for you. If you like this one, go on and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be more and more and more. Uh, and by the way, if you got any idea on videos I make, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, feel free to ask your questions. Take care. See you soon.